Okay, we're going to make a quick video of setting up the um, BL700 at the Koger software. I have the BL700 in our tank. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to insert the USB into the, my laptop here. And then I'm going to open up Device Manager. Let's see which COM port was designated. It was given 58. Okay, now I'm going to open the Koger software. So when you get it, most of the time it will be already locked in at 9600. But this unit, um, the default, we're going to open it at the default. So I have COM58, the default is 115200. We're going to open it at that. Um, so I'm opening it. Uh, we can already see I have the set. This one was already set. So you see the NEMA um, string, dollar sign SDDBT, flowing at the bottom. Um, what we're going to do normally on your first setup, what you're normally going to do is you're going to hit um, resolution up here is 10, 100, 0, 50,200, threshold 0, pulse count. We have it on 10. Um, we'll put it at 5. That's 5 soundings per second. Frequency 700, that's, that's the best. The booster is off right now. If you go deeper than, say, 50 feet, you could turn the booster on. But in the more shallow stuff, I leave the booster off. Smoothing factor zero. Sound velocity is at 1500. We are, um, you're gonna adjust that. I have the charts on the website. So as you can see, um, it is um, jumping around a little bit, but if we uh, start, if I start changing the sound velocity, if I raise it, so let's just say this would be like salt water. As you see, it's, it's the depth is changing because it thinks, so we know that the output's going. This is, period MS is 100, echogram off, NEMA has to be on. That's how you get this NEMA string. I am gonna flash settings. When I flash settings, I hit it once quick, I hit it, I hold it for a second, and then, then I know we have it. So we're gonna, how we're gonna know that, we're gonna shut it off. And how you could do is you could always shut the battery off and then then you know if your settings are, were held. Okay, so I'm going to put the battery back on. Um, I'm gonna give it a second. I'm gonna turn it on and let's check. All my settings were saved. Yes, all my settings are here. Um, that's good. But what we wanna do is I wanna, I wanna set the baud rate to 9600. That's how I wanna leave it. So what we do here is we're gonna change the baud rate 96. When I hit this, it's going to freeze. Everything froze. If I stop, now I won't open at 115 anymore. It's gonna open at 96 now. Now, So when I hit that, it's working. We, re we changed it to 9600. The key thing to do now is hit flash it. Sometimes hold it for a sec, flash the settings. That's the key. If you don't flash the settings, it won't hold 9600. So now it's holding it. Now our final test here is to shut it off. I don't even care. You can shut the thing off. We're gonna shut the we're gonna shut the battery off. We know it has no power. So now is the test. We turn it on. Give it a second. I'm gonna open it again. The Koger again. So if it opens at 9600, everything was saved and everything's going good. And here we go. And there it is, it's flowing. There's our um, NEMA string and all our settings are there. So most of the time you might change the pulse count. That's the soundings per second, but you will always go in and change the sound velocity. You know, if you're, we have the charts, if you're in like 40 degree fresh water, it could be down at 1400, 1420. If you're at 80 degrees salt water, you could be up around 1550. So it's always good to make the adjustment. And that's it. Thank you.